Okay, hello. Um, since we uh, last met uh, with uh, this group, um, we've done a lot of, uh, we've received four, four batches of funding um, from PIFON, from ACAR, uh, from the United Nations uh, Fund, and uh, lastly from the Barefoot College in India. We've spent, uh, we've, we've mostly spent our funds uh, in, uh, uh, in training this year. We've really focused uh, on that. Uh, we've been t training people, uh, about 300 people in the last few months, uh, mostly in um, uh, basic and also in advanced beekeeping. We've also been working together with our queen breeders, uh, helping them to breed better queens so that we can improve the quality of the genetic material in Fiji. Uh, we've also um, been trying to disseminate and, and teach our bee farmers uh, a new skill, which is to actually requeen their bees every year, because we find that a lot of people just keep on going with the with the old existing uh, bee stock that they have without replacing it. So we've tried to do that. Uh, the uh, the issues that we're facing uh, at the moment are mostly in the oversupply of honey, and I mentioned this already to the minister because there's no existing uh, export market. We actually have a couple of exporters, very small exporters in Fiji. But really, uh, most, most, most of us are trying to sell honey uh, on the local market, and it's flooded at the moment, so our prices are going down. Uh, there's also rampant uh, disease and pests happening in the bee industry at the moment, uh, mostly in, the, in, in two forms. Uh, the pest that we're facing mostly is varroa mite, and the, uh, the other one is uh, AFB, which is a, a disease affecting bees. Uh, varroa mite has been tried to be tackled by the biosecurity uh, for a couple of years in Fiji. Uh, they thought that they could maybe eradicate it. Unfortunately, there's no country in the world that has yet eradicated varroa mites, and I think we, we just have come to realize that we have to live with this, with this mite that's coming to the country. And the best thing we can do is now train our farmers how to deal with it and how to medicate for it. Uh, secondly, the AFB, uh, that one is, uh, is a disease which is possible, possibly can be eradicated from Fiji. We believe it can, and in some places in the, around the world it has been eradicated. So we want to try to encourage the Ministry of Agriculture to, uh, to work together with us, and also the biosecurity to work together uh, with us to try to uh, come up with a, a strategy by which we can uh, eradicate this disease out of Fiji. Um, so far, they, we do not believe there is an existing uh, strategy in Fiji to eradicate AFB, so we want to try to work together with them. Uh, regarding genetic material for bees, our bees in Fiji, we've been using the same bee stock for probably the last 20 years or so, and so our bees are a little bit inbred, and uh, we really need, need to get new material from overseas so that we can, you know, get fresh blood into the bee industry. Uh, this has been prevented a little bit. We were hoping to work with ACAR on this, we were hoping to get new uh, bee genetics into Fiji this year. Unfortunately, that's been held up because of COVID. So uh, the best that we can do is take the best of the qualities of bees that we have. And we've seen some good stock up in Vanua level. And we, we, try, we want to disseminate some of that good quality genetics uh, around the country as best as we can. Uh, Overproduction of the industry, oh, sorry, overpromotion of the industry to new beekeepers. This is something that we've seen the Ministry of Agriculture has been promoting uh, beekeeping to new bee farmers, especially uh, after COVID, and people have been returning to their farms. We've seen that uh, the ministry has been really wanting to try to get people into, into beekeeping as, as, as an alternative income. But unfortunately, uh, what we see is that sometimes the training is not um, uh, backed up with, uh, with uh, re you know, returning back and, and helping people uh, to cover again the material, sometimes we see that the training is not uh, very practical in nature, and so people, you know, they do a lot of theory. They sit down in a hotel, they go through the, go through some of the, um, uh, the theory, but in fact the practice is not there. So we, th that's where we've been trying to come this last year to try to, uh, to, to really uh, build up a, a good curriculum for bee training, which is very practical in nature. Should be at least 50% practical. And uh, we, we really want to try to uh, develop that. We're also trying to professionalize our, our beekeeping trainers. Uh, sometimes, you know, like this person teaches this, this, the other person teaches that. We want everybody to be teaching the same curriculum. And we would love to get together with uh, the Ministry of Agriculture a bit more so that we can coordinate and collaborate 
in our B training. Uh, we, we have experienced a little bit of delays in shipping this year because of COVID, uh, which does affect some of the uh, materials that are used by beekeepers. Uh, negligent beekeepers also is a problem because we have a lot of... Uh, beekeeping is such an industry that a lot of people get into it. They have the belief that you can, you can get into beekeeping and uh, you don't have to do anything. Just come once a year, harvest your honey, and otherwise just leave it alone. And all the experienced beekeepers know that this is a very big mistake. Not only does it harm uh, that farmer, but it also harms farmers who are close to him. And that's how diseases and, uh, uh, get spread around the country. So we really want to try to uh, encourage, you know, like the, the negligent beekeepers to, to get back and, and to really uh, invest themselves back into their farms. Okay, for the next year, uh, we want to focus on doing some evaluating. Uh, there's some initiatives being started on that. We want to get into... Uh, we want to increase and continue on with the queen breeding uh, and also uh, build awareness of requeening as, as, as something that beekeepers need to be doing. Uh, we need to continue with our training and especially focus on the experienced beekeepers rather than the, the brand new beekeepers. We want to build up those people who've been in the industry for a number of years but still don't know much about what they're doing. So we want to do that. We also want to improve our professionalism in our training by having a standard curriculum, uh, we want to develop teaching materials, short videos on how to do how to do training. I mean, sorry, how to do beekeeping on various uh, uh, technical matters. For our message to the policymakers, uh, we would ask if they could work with us together so we can come up with a workable AFB eradication strategy. Uh, we also want them to help us to work together to make export opportunities so we can. Uh, start to uh, increase the number of beekeepers in Fiji as well. We would, we would prefer if we could slow down the development of the industry in terms of uh, new beekeepers because there's so many new people trying to get into this business and uh, the market is not there to support them. It would be better for us to actually support those who are already uh, in the industry. So we are trying to encourage that. Uh, we would maybe promote also the limiting or the density of beehives in any particular area because we see that in some areas there are, uh, there are places around Fiji where there are just too much density of, of uh, beehives in one location which makes it difficult for anybody to make any money in that area and to improve on the distribution of bees around Fiji. Uh, we would also ask for the ministry to, in all of its... Uh, um, helping and funding of, 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 of new beekeepers if they could be careful not to uh, undercut the private suppliers. Like, for example, we have a number of people who make an income from providing beehives, providing uh, the boxes, providing the queens, providing the medications. And if we are having to compete with the government, you know, to provide all these things, it makes it very hard for these guys to make a living. So we would really want that uh, Apart from that, I don't think know whether there's anything else that I could mention to you. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. McKay. I uh, call upon uh, Mr. Simon Cole, the head of the Big Producers Association, to um, update us on the state of the pig industry in Fiji, the pork industry. <laughs> 